Way back in 1995, I stepped into a cinema to watch the first ever computer animated feature film. Swept up into an incredible journey filled with heart, humour and adventure. At four years old, I made new friends which, little did I know then, would remain best friends for the following 24 years and beyond. Toy Story was the cornerstone of my young life, easily my favourite animated feature film, and a tale that became all too real for me when my parents bought me my first Woody and Buzz dolls, and a selection of the supporting characters as well. With these toys, I was Andy, finding comfort, solace and true friendship. Viewing the following Toy Story releases thus became pretty visceral experiences for me, as if they were talking to me on a personal level. Toy Story 2 explored the idea of growing up just as I was going into that next phase of childhood and Toy Story 3 felt made for me. Just as Andy was leaving for college and leaving his childhood behind, I had just entered into my first year myself. While Toy Story 3 closed out a chapter, not only in the Toy Story story but also in my own, it seemed a fitting conclusion. A wonderfully emotional send off, as heartbreaking as it was heartwarming, filled with all the love and tenderness we expected from the franchise. Nine years later however, the toy box is opened all over again with Toy Story 4, giving us a chance, theatrically at least, to catch up with our pals following their life altering change of trajectory. Something that many other cinema goers were vehemently against, but which I welcomed wholeheartedly. Stepping back into the cinema now in 2019 felt almost like an end note to my journey with Toy Story. One last chance to catch up with old pals, well at least that's what we've been told again. And indeed Toy Story 4 feels just like that, a coda or epilogue to the original trilogy that expands upon ideas and explores themes that were never truly fleshed out and explored before. He takes loose ends and ties them up satisfactorily and diverges into the ramifications of where the third instalment left off, touching on the last tangle of emotions that seemed brushed over in the finale of the third. Sure we saw Andy move on but we never saw our toys, especially Woody, move on. While Andy's story may have closed out, Woody and the gangs never did. If we look at it in that respect, Toy Story 4 is a movie that we've needed for nine years the last piece of closure to this incredible cinematic journey and boy does it do it so well. Naturally, Toy Story 4 takes on a reduced approach. It features the same grand adventure as the previous three but on a smaller, more emotional scale. Something I wasn't sure was even possible. And in doing so, amounts perhaps to the most intimate Toy Story adventure we've had thus far. As with previous Toy Story movies, I felt so much of myself in Toy Story Story 4. Having lived not only with these movies, but with the actual toys, I almost felt the movie and Woody were speaking directly to me. It's almost as if Pixar have actually made a movie with my generation in mind. So meticulously beautiful, speaking to us and telling us it's okay to let go. Letting us know our best friends are still okay nine years after we left them behind. And that right there is the emotional crux of Pixar, making Toy Story 4 easily the the single most incredible story they've churned out in the last almost decade. The love and care that went into this movie is abundantly clear. Not only in the film's spectacular animation which trumps everything that's ever come before it, but also in its heartfelt, emotionally captivating story that literally took multiple teams of writers to properly crack. This ain't no Cars 2, a movie pumped out quickly and solely for the purpose of capitalization. Pixar know that their audience would never forgive them if they did that to their best friend and their own own favourite child. While this is smaller scale, it still feels like Toy Story. There's great action, brilliant new characters and some incredible comedy and gag pieces that live up to anything from the originals. If I had one disappointment with the movie though, it's that with such a strong focus on the Woody Bo Peep story, I really wish we'd gotten more out of the rest of our gang of originals. I understand the importance of the focus they took here, an exploration of Bo's whereabouts is something I've wanted for almost a decade and of course Woody is the heart of this story but a little more Buzz and Jesse really could have gone a long long way. Regardless of the fact I adored Toy Story 4 and I feel my love growing for it by the 
hour. And if I take anything away from this movie, it's that I truly remember what my favourite movie franchise is. It's not Marvel, it's not Star Wars, it's Toy Story. Toy Story 4 is an instant classic, right up to standard, and one I can't wait to watch over and over again, to infinity and beyond. And at that, it's over to you guys out there. I want to know, how did you feel about Toy Story 4? Find a way in the comments below and let me know your thoughts. If this is your first time viewing one of my videos and you'd like to see more like it in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen, as well as that like button down below for that little extra support. Also, don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching and have a fantastic day.